Well, it was April Fool's Day yesterday, so why not pull a prank on one of the kids? And it's not surprising that James Wisniewski, one of the uh, free spirits on the team, would come up with one. He and Adam Bursch did a number on Jonathan Taves' truck, and Taves not exactly thrilled with what he saw when he arrived out there in Bensonville. He tried to catch uh, Wisniewski and get even, but uh, Wisniewski got away, got a toss. Pete Primo thought a boy and his father had won a chance to practice with the Flyers. Little did he know it was Jamie Kennedy setting him up. Come on, check this guy's a jerk. In 1994, the late George Gross of the Toronto Sun wrote an article about Wayne Gretzky heading to the Toronto Maple Leafs, putting Leaf Nation into a frenzy. Twelve years before, the Toronto Star had the same headline. But like anything in life, you have to read the fine print. Always controversial, it didn't seem too far-fetched that Mark Cuban would get into it with a ref. Oh, fine center. I have a hunch, guys, that this might be an April Fool's. How you got it? Dell Harris was not aware of it. Look at Dell. <laughs> Dell didn't get the memo. 14 years ago, Ken Griffey Jr. bet then-Seattle manager Lou Pinella a steak dinner and lost. Well, instead of the steak, Lou got the whole cow. <laughs> Boom. In 2005, Luke Robitaille sets up teammate John Sim with a fake interview involving a late, unprepared reporter. I don't need to sh right now, Freddie, okay? All right, all right. I'll it up. Joined right now by Jim Sim in your eighth year with the Kings, and, um, um, uh, it's John. You're from Texas, right? No, Nova Scotia. Sometimes having too much money can be dangerous. Roy Halladay and A.J. Burnett paid for a plane to fly over Jay's practice, uh, claiming Aaron Hill and Russ Adams love for each other. The prank made headlines across the league. After winning the school's first ever national championship, Florida head coach Billy Donovan wanted to show off the championship trophy. Luckily, it was a fake. Al Horford thought it was the real thing. He was almost panicked for a second. <laughs> Carol Owens gets set up at the site of a staged crash on MTV's show Punk. What the f Hi, could you guys please help me install my van? It's overturned. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> okay, David, it's fine. I got a nephew back east. Just a giant Donovan McNabb fan. And uh, if I could get you to sign something, I mean, you're the guy who catches the ball after Donovan throws it, so he would get a kick out of that. He made a move today. And we made a trade with the Japanese team, the Moore Giants. And you were one of the guys in the deal. This is Donald. Right. Kyle Kendrick has been uh, moved to the Unary uh, Giants uh, in exchange for Kobayashi uh, Iwamura. Um, it's a deal that we felt was important for us to make. Yeah. You know what I say? You, have to go. you just got punked! <laughs> <laughs>